After months of uncertainty about its future, work is officially underway on the hotel at Harrison Square tonight. Hello, I'm Mark Mellinger. And I'm Heather Heron. Work on a courtyard by Marriott is now about six months behind schedule, a delay that the developer says will not matter in the long run. We go live downtown to News Channel 15's Megan Stemmel. She is at Harrison Square now, and she was also at that groundbreaking earlier today. Well, Mark and Heather, the groundbreaking out here today was largely ceremonial. If you've been down here at all in the last couple weeks, you will have noticed that there's been some preliminary work been started down here behind the fence. But today's celebration really was very important for the city and the developer because they had to go through some very serious financial challenges to try to get the funding that they needed to make this uh, project here a reality. The 250 room courtyard by Marriott project was about 20 million bucks short for quite some time as the economic climate deteriorated. Coming through at the 11th hour, though, were seven local banks who decided to put their financial support behind this project. Now that construction is underway, 50 to 75 people have a job at the site here for the next 16 months. More than half of them are local. This project represents a great step forward with investment and moving downtown forward, making it more accessible to more people. Grand Wayne Center can host larger events. And uh, it's also helping out the Embassy Theater and the Old Indiana Hotel. The hotel is now set to open next year in August. It will bring with it more than 100 jobs. So obviously the ball field in place here, the hotel is underway. The big question, what about that third prong, the condos that are supposed to be on the northwest part of this square here? Well, I asked the redevelopment director about those today. He says the city is trying to amend its current contract with the developers so they can get those condos in there sooner rather than later. I asked him how those talks were going, and he kind of just smiled and said, we continue to talk. Reporting live downtown, I'm Megan Stemble, News Channel 15.